Hello and welcome to the Why Knox podcast brought to you by Visit Knoxville. My name is Jody Collins of Feral Giant and I'll be your host on this journey. What we'll be doing is interviewing different folks around Knoxville that make Knoxville the great place it is to live. We'll have staples that you see around town all the time, but we'll also have some lesser known folks, people behind the scenes that make this a great city. Be sure to subscribe, rate, and review this podcast. And if you'd like to share the podcast on social media, be sure to tag us at Visit Knoxville and use the hashtag WhyKnox. Without much further ado, here's the episode. My name is Claudia Caballero, and I'm the executive director of Centro Hispano de East Tennessee. Okay. Where where are you originally from? Where am I really from? Oh, no. (laughs) No, no. Uh, um, I was born in Honduras okay. in Central America and, um, I've lived all over, but, uh, yeah, I, I was in the States as a child with my whole family. We moved back to Honduras. Um, I did college there, um, lived in Germany for a year and a half, um, moved to Ohio, moved to Austin, Texas, and now I'm in Knoxville, Tennessee. And, uh, what brought you here? So, um... My husband and I were living in Austin, and it's a great place to live, but it's kind of a hard place to, to start a life, I guess. If uh, It's very expensive to live. Right. So we were looking for um, smaller communities. Um, he was looking for mountains and airport and a university and a food scene. of uh, uh, And... Um, when he asked me what I was looking for, I just said no cold weather because I never <laughs> wanted the weather in Ohio ever again. <laughs> so um, we did a we did a national search and we chose some cities. We did a road trip and Knoxville was our first stop. And I told him this is after I saw Three Rivers uh, oh. Market. I said yeah. this is where we're going to stay. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, it's re- so uh, ring, I mean, ringing endorsement for Three Rivers. Yes, I, um, you know, you go to different cities throughout the states and you can really tell what people care about when you see where they put their money. Right. And, um, I would, I would say that Three Rivers is one of the most beautiful co-ops I've been to. And I go to the co-ops in every city I go to, you That's know, awesome. so it was, it was an interesting, it was a good experience. We may, they, they may be an unofficial sponsor of this bucket. No, yes. Just no, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but really that was, that was, um, that a was major my, point. that was my big, um, I mean, it wasn't big because I didn't think about it much. It was my gut reaction. I looked yeah. around. I saw the downtown. I saw, um, you know, the co-op. And we weren't here for the farmer's market because we, we ended okay. up in Knoxville for one of the, on a weekday. Okay. But um, that probably would have made me decide as well. Nice. And how long ago was Two that? and a half years ago. July, it'll be three years. July, will be three years. Okay. Uh, what did your parents do for a living? Um, my dad is Honduran and he is an agricultural engineer. Okay. So he did a lot of work with conservation and land management. Um, and my mother is, uh, a dairy farmer from Illinois who nice. went to the Peace Corps in Honduras and stayed. Um, and she, um, she's been a farmer her whole life. So we have a small farm in Honduras and I'm the oldest of five. Okay. And when it was time for us to start college, we needed more than one income in the house. And so my mom started a restaurant and we have run a restaurant with our family for about 17 years now. And it's still okay. going. I mean, they're there now, but uh, yeah, that's what they do. Nice. And so you are now, what is you, your official title is one more time? Executive director. San okay. Hispano. Okay. And was I'm dumb. Was this around? Did you create this, or was this around before you were uh, came to Knoxville? It 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 was here. Um, it started 14 years ago. Okay. Um, so it had been around for a while. Okay. Um, when when I came in and my new team came in with me, we kind of uh, we 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 reevaluated the whole place. Okay. Our board, we had a board change. We had a a change in direction and vision for the organization. So. Um, it's it kind of was reborn, I would okay. say. Okay. Okay. About two and a half years ago. And uh, had you always kind of been working in a nonprofit world, or had you come from the corporate world? 
I've done both. I mean, I'd, okay. I've run a family restaurant since I was like 15 with my family. Yeah. I didn't start running it. I was yeah. washing yeah. dishes and so, you know, <laughs> serving pizza, but, um, Runner. <laughs> went up the, uh, yeah. went, up, went up the, the ladder there. And then, um, when I moved to the States, I moved here for a job as an operations manager for an organization that did international nonprofit work. Okay. So I had done nonprofit work. And then when I lived in Austin, I did for profit work and I was ready to go back to the nonprofit world. Um, it's, it's the place that makes me the happiest. Okay. And so, um, I, that's, I, I applied for one job and, um, it was, it was this. So nice. yeah, it was, it was an awesome, it's an awesome experience. Okay. And in your time here and being executive director, what kind of headways do you think you've made? Um, we, I think we've made a lot. Um, okay. I've, I've an incredible team. I've got an incredible board. Um, I think a lot of people didn't know what Centro Hispano was. So I remember right. I moved to Knoxville and I went downtown. And I was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to work with Centro Hispano. Or I'm working. I was actually already working. Was, I'm working with Centro Hispano. And people just had this like blank face when I'd meet people. <laughs> and so um, one of the things we've been working really hard is to increase the um, awareness of our organization, the non-Latino okay. community. Um, we've really worked hard to improve our reputation in the Latino community. We've right. um, and we've improved our services incredibly. Um, our English classes are some of the best in town, um, our after school programs, our youth and family engagement work. Um, we've started a lot of work with college access for Latinos because we don't have, Knoxville does not have, um, very many uh, Latinos in the school system. So kids don't have the opportunity to see someone like them or who could speak the language to help them navigate right. and right. their parents understand what college is going to look like or post-secondary education in general. So we're working really hard on that. Um, connecting our Latino community to the services, the nonprofits and the for-profits in the community is something we do a lot of as well. Right. Um, we, we want our community to thrive culturally, educationally, economically, and you can't do that alone. It, it takes a yeah. village. So yeah. that's what we do. Awesome. And when you all moved here, uh, did you find the community or did you, did you find a community or did you kind of, uh, did that come later? So, um, I've moved around a lot in my life yeah, and I believe I'm very good at making home right. anywhere I go right. really quickly. So on one, uh, I'd say they came hand in hand, right. um, because of my work here, I just kept meeting incredible people. And I was like, right. oh, my God, this person's volunteering. Right. I want to be their friend. And so m many of the people that we that are now probably our closest friends in Knoxville, um, we met through Centro's work one okay. way or another. Okay. Um, I remember um, there was a guy that came out to check some gardens and he was from Beardsley Farm and nice. Adam Carrico. And when I met him, I was like, oh my God, this guy is, he, we want to be friends. Like, this yeah. is awesome. And now his his family and, and our family awesome. are very close. So yeah, it was it was connecting that way. Um, most, of, most of the work, I, I, uh, how do I say this? Um, Everything I do most of the time relates back to the work I okay. do at Centro. <laughs> okay. So okay. no matter where I'm at. Yeah. So, yeah. I, yeah, I think a, a good thing here is a lot of the nonprofit communities kind of build together, I Absolutely. guess is a good way to put it. That's what I was trying to get to. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. all of them are driven by the community, but also... Pull yeah, some, sometimes I find interesting, uh, you know, when you're when you're working with funders, they're like, oh, well, nonprofits are working in silos. And I really don't see yeah. that in Knoxville. And I, I haven't seen it, especially in the work we do. I've never had a door close and say, sorry, we're not going to work with you or right. no, we don't want to partner. So it's been it's been very positive. I would agree that it's a very supported, okay. supportive community. <laughs> uh, what are some of your fa favorite places to go around town? Um. To eat, I love uh, to, eat everything. to do a little <laughs> bit of everything. Uh, we're going to go ahead and say Three Rivers and the <laughs> Market Square Farmers Market. Um, I actually, um, I love Kaya, the Korean restaurant. Okay. I love Bita Saigon. Okay. I love, um, is it Bombay Bistro, the Indian place out in yeah. Turkey Creek, um, and uh, the place right next to Sunrise Market. Was it uh, Asia Kitchen? Asia, Asia Kitchen. Kitchen. Yeah. Um, so we love, we love eating um any asian food all the time <laughs> um i'm really excited to try i think it's gonna be one of my favorites there's a new ramen place starting yes. called new bones yes no, old, uh, old bones? i do not know the name 
It's almost like streets around here. I don't know. Old the bones. Na- Something I don't about know bones. the names. I just ramen know where bones. it's at. Yeah. I think ramen bones. Anyway, just know where it's at. super excited about that. Yeah. Um, that's usually where we go out to eat. If yeah. we're going anywhere or the flea market. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the flea market at Green Acres is yeah. amazing. It's straight up Latino. Some of our friends own the different restaurants there. You can always get a good uh, pozole or, yeah. you know, uh, tacos. So we go there. Um, if we go out walking, I love Iams a yeah. lot. And we go there often. Um, Have you been to Seven Island State Birding Park? Yes. It, it seems kind of far away sometimes for me, but we've gone a couple of times and I love it. It's a yeah. beautiful place. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. It's slept on a little bit. That's <laughs> that's one of my favorite. Do uh, you all have puppies? Dawn? No, we almost oh. had a puppy. We don't have one right now. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the person was going to give it to me, change their mind, oh. and, and <laughs> took it with them. But we have a cat. Okay. And, um, we just uh, we just moved out into the country, so okay. um, we're looking for a dog now. So if anyone has a poodle, giant standard poodle. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, other than Iams, are there any parks, or do you all like to get out and bike, or any? We th- in theory we like it. So uh, <laughs> we have kayaks. Um, okay. I think we went out once last year okay. and I was like, this is awesome. We should do this more often. Yeah. Um, we don't get out very often. So my, my husband all of last year and the year before he had, um, he still has, he owns a chocolate company called Un- Unrefined Chocolate. Oh yeah. And yeah. so um, he would do farmer's markets on the yeah. weekends and oh, it was yeah. kind of hard for us to do stuff, but um, yeah. he's, he's shifted how he's managing that. So okay. I hope now weekends, I love exploring small towns as well or right. going places. So we do that on the weekends. I also have a bike that yeah. I bought and I still haven't ridden. So I do <laughs> love biking. I just haven't gotten around to it. The weather's changing. It's, it's time. It's changing. And also the last two years we've been busy, uh, remodeling houses and moving into them. So the first house was when we, we moved oh, here two okay. years ago, and we okay. just remodeled the second house we moved into. So it's been it's been a lot of construction and drywall and <laughs> painting, <laughs> all the fun stuff. That's uh, all the fun. Sure, <laughs> I'm just glad we moved in. Uh, what do you? I know you haven't been here very long, but you have seen still some changes in the city. What do you think the future holds for Knoxville? Um, I'm really looking forward to, um, more restaurants. Um, I love, I love really fancy, uh, farm to table, like, um, experimental food. That's what I'm looking for when I go to, uh, when I'm, when I travel, that's what I'm looking for. But I also am looking forward to seeing more, uh, Latino and other minority owned restaurants in places that are more accessible to everyone. Okay. So um, I feel like a lot of times I'll go out and eat somewhere where probably no one wants to go unless they know it's there. Oh, yeah. So yeah. how do we how do we create spaces for our immigrant community that are accessible, that are, you know, that they can have help with PR uh, right. and, and that kind of stuff. So I'd look forward to that. Uh, where can folks find you online? Social media, website for Central? So I'm terrible on social media, but we do have Centro Hispano's website. Um, okay. It's Centro Hispano, and that's C-E-N-T-R-O-H-I-N-P-A-N-O. T-N is in Tennessee, dot org. And you can find us on Facebook and Twitter as well. The okay. same um, handle at Centro Hispano. And um, yeah, I don't really have a great presence. Oh, no, that's <laughs> That's right. They, they I, I like follow people Central. more than Central <laughs> social media. So I well, they follow you by following yes, Central. Yes, That's what absolutely. it is. All right. Thank you for doing this. Yes. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.